is up, y'all? It is your boy Weeps back in the house. Welcome back to Let's Play Clash of Clans. This is episode 5. This is where things get very interesting. Welcome to Town Hall 4. This is my layout. It is a nice one for Town Hall 4. Town Hall 4 is a little tough. He's getting hit by Town Hall 5s, Town Hall 6s, so you basically can't really save your resources, but... In my opinion, it's still a fun little town hall. It gets you more into the game, gets you guys upgrading troops, gets you to think about base setups, which is key in Clash of Clans. So, I was able to build the air defense, got myself an extra elixir pump and a gold mine, and we're just upgrading this archer tower at the moment. I did clean up the base quite a bit. I have no builders left right now. I do need that third builder, and that's something that I'm going to be doing probably pretty soon. Makes the game go a little bit better, a little bit smoother, and a little bit nicer for Clash. So, we did start a clan. You guys are amazing. We got 50 joined right away you guys are awesome i will be rotating people in and out depending on activity donation rate whether you um, participate in wars and things like that so if you get kicked basically it's because your donation ratio sucks or you're not a really good attacker in the war now at this point we're just having fun easy rules number one is have fun and that's what we're talking about here it's all about donation it's all about having a good time and all about just participating in war right when we get a little bit more into it because me look at me sitting on the bottom of the freaking group here papa weep 694 trophies um just got the level of town hall four so give me a little bit of slack but this is nice man you guys came in you guys are doing some work we won our first war let's get all the way back up into here look at this wars one at number one we did it so i would kick a few people and i got a few new people in so we're going back into a war again i just wanted to kind of show you guys some highlights and whatnot and what i did to my base uh, at this point in time though it's all about upgrading these walls i did get these to level three which is nice and we've got a few level twos that we've got left to upgrade and then we've got to upgrade again to these beauteous level four walls now those in my opinion look sick uh these look kind of kind of poor <laughs> honestly they're just little gray slabs and they don't really do much there's not many hit points on these guys talking about 700 hit points so a couple wall breakers will break through there and you're kind of toast at this point especially when people start looning you the air defense is one of the things you should upgrade first and foremost you definitely need one of these at town hall four and uh, overall it's a decent base i did take this from noteworthy games he is a clash of clans player he's been playing for a few years he built this one and it's decent i do remember playing this town hall and using this base setup and you just get wrecked i mean there's people town hall fives town hall sixes who get you and uh try to keep these trophies low and it's all about it's all about maintaining the resource it's actually about not maintaining the resources but using the resources as you get them so right now i'm sitting on thirty-four thousand gold and twenty-one thousand elixir but i have a max of a hundred thousand that's a lot so basically you try to keep a builder keep your builders busy and don't raid all the time if you can't spend your resources don't go ahead and you know, save them because you're going to get hit. You're going to get a lot of, of uh, resources taken away and it's going to hinder your upgrades. So like I said, I have two upgrades right now. My mortar will be done in five and a half hours. And then I've got, uh, my archer tower that's done in an hour and a half so once those are done i'll have enough resources to upgrade something else and then i'll be able to use them now my key is a lot of these upgrades are expensive so if you're going to sit and raid for a little while just do it stay on the game raid build up something and then boom hit a builder up make him busy so that those resources aren't just sitting there getting stolen if i had no builders working and i'm sitting on 100k and i go to sleep i'm gonna wake up and my resources are gonna be taken so my key here definitely raid until you can spend and then once you're good to go get that builder going and then you're free to go if i go to sleep and somebody hits my town and they take say you know 10 20 percent of my stuff i'm not that hurt if i have 100k going to bed and i wake up and i've got you know 70k left that hurts that's that's a lot of uh, resources that could have been saved also a nice little um nice little thing you can do is actually build two armies right now my army camps are full um but what i can do is you can save or hide elixir i could go in here and train a troop and if i do this it's grayed out and they're not actually trained but my elixir is stored so that i'm not actually getting this ripped off if i go back you wake up in the morning say okay i'm, I'm gonna get rid of my army and then boom you've got your elixir back so that is a key a lot of guys might not know about that i know there's a lot of noobs in my uh in my clan and a lot of noobs around watching these videos so it's just a little bit of uh, an incentive to try to save some of that elixir especially when you're not going to be playing for a few hours and you're going to get raided so let's get into our hold on let's get into our war log here we're actually starting another war now against british guard but i'm going to show you guys 
the details of the last war. Look at that victory, 81 to 43. That's awesome. Everybody, well, most everybody attacked. The few guys that didn't were kicked right away, and we let some new members in. And uh, this this is a good clan, man. You guys are good. I'll, I'll give you props for that. So we'll view the map. This Alcer number one. This guy down here. Let me check him out. I got I got to shout a few people out right away. Stony did some good work for me. My boy Ryan right here. I'm gonna give him MVP. Six stars, and he donated his face off. This guy is an absolute animal. Here we go, if I can see. Oh, it doesn't show donation numbers here, but he was excellent, man. He held the glue while I was in bed. I think he's an overseas guy for me. So um, let's get back out. I just want to show you his stats right now. So we're viewing the clan. You can see these donation numbers, and uh, that's sick. Fluxation at 329, and... Um, here we go. Look at that. Almost a thousand in like two days. Nine hundred and sixty one and only one hundred and ninety five troops received. That's awesome. That's what I like to see. You guys are doing really well in that donation ratio. Hunter Street here, 196 given, 190 given my maximum. That's good stuff. What I don't want to see is Cameron. Um 55 donated and 395 received. One of these guys, if you're way down low, I expect that. That's fine. Like me, my donation ratio is terrible because my troops are terrible. They're level twos. Nobody wants them. But on the flip side, like giving up in a higher level and you got 58 troops donated and you're requesting a lot, that's not the way the game goes. It's You kind of have to be uh, a little bit more giving on the top levels. He is a level, uh, he's ranked seventh, so he should be giving away a little bit more than receiving. But not going to kick you, Cameron, not going to kick you at this point. Just telling you, donate a little bit more. If you want to receive, donate a little bit more. So let's get back into the war highlights. It is actually pretty, oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. All right, so we'll get into here. I'm going to show you Ryan's attack. And I'm going to show you a few of the bottom ones that were pretty... Oh, dude, I'm in the wrong war. Dang it. All right, let's go here. Warlog, here we go. All right, the win, the victory, the honor that is ours. So let's get into these war events here. Where are we? I wanted to show you a really poor attack by one of the guys who got booted early on. Um, this is not the way to raid. Let's see here. Um, yeah, this dude here. Okay, 8%, dude. If you can't get more than 8% in a war, you're probably not going to do it right. So... Here we go. Way to not lure out the clan castle. This clan castle is filled with wizards and archers, and he dropped his wall breakers, and then his clan castle, and then a bunch of giants. And these guys wiped out quite a few of his barbs, actually all of his barbs, and that sucks. He's got archers killing his giants, so he went in from 11 giants down to about four that are actually doing anything, and he's just taking hits from every angle. So coming in from this way is not the smartest. You could have hit the clan castle up first, lured them out outside, taken care of the clan castle, and then attacked. If I was going to attack this town hall, I'd probably attack from down here. Um, definitely bust the wall or drop some giants, bust the wall down, bring in some guys that are going to take out both this mortar and the archer tower first, and then get to the town hall. You can at least get two stars on this if you're a low level and that's just a bad attack so yeah uh, let's get into some better attacks here i will show you a few other ones too that i would have done differently and uh possibly possibly a little bit better um but it's all about learning and practicing so gummy gobble here i want to show you this guy this guy did a pretty good attack here pretty basic standard nope wrong one sorry 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 i tried to check these out ahead of time so i knew what, what was going on when i dropped the uh the war event here but where is, where's Ryan's attack? He had one real good one. Um, 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 I can't find it. Here we go. Ryan Jai. Jain. All right, let's see what this guy's got. Nice little base setup. Town hall in the middle, but low-level wizard towers, low-level um, cannons. So he ends up cleaning up the clan castle. This is essential. This has a radius. If you go into scout, it's going to have a radius of about this. What you want to do is just drop a troop in. It's going to open up the clan castle. They're going to come out, and then you can toast them just like he did right here. He was able to get these guys out and then surround them with archers and take them out. A lightning spell works very well at these low levels too. Low-level troops are going to get absolutely destroyed by a lightning spell, so that's the way to do it. Giants go for defenses first, so that's a beautiful move right there. He did have some spring traps, which ended up being pretty poor, but the guy's still going to get 100%. But that's what you want to do. Get these giants to take the meat, take the shots from these guys. So he's getting them in here. The Giants went straight for the defenses, dropped the heal spell and the wall breakers to bust down these walls, and then the healers that are going to heal the Giants. And this technique 
is fantastic for level four, level five, even level six raids when there's low air defense. Uh, what you can do is just use these healers basically to heal your giants as they go through the town and destroy the defenses. What he did was swarm with archers after, which is what I love to do. Once you get your giants in and they bust out these defenses, these guys can just come in and come in and wreck stuff. And that's what he did here. This archer tower, though, that that's tough. That's a rough move right there. But his archers um, on this side are still doing good. And uh, his giants are coming in with the heals. And right now, they cannot get killed. No matter how much firepower they take with the heals, they're just running through everybody. So he's taking the hit from the wizard tower. The archers are coming in and cleaning up. Let's speed this up a little bit. Taking out that town hall, which is fantastic. That's the way you do. Two stars right there. And then let's switch back. He did bring in a few wizards. And they're devastating at this level as well. With the uh, heal spells, or the healers, they're just doing absolute work right here. These guys basically cannot be killed. Now that there's no mortar, that's a beautiful thing too. The cannons will take a couple hits. Um, the heal guy took a couple hits there, but not enough to deter his uh, his offense right here. And that's beautiful. Let's speed this back up. He's just cleaning up the rest of the... Uh, the troops right here, the rest of the base right here, and that's the way you want to attack, guys. You want to lure out that clan castle, and you want to bring in your giants if you're going to hit a low-level town, four, maybe five, even giants. Drop them first, then the wall breakers. The giants will uh, get to the walls. The wall breakers will not get hit because the giants are taking the hits and then clean up with archers and wizards. Um, the heal healers are awesome. Healers are really good at low level. I don't use them now that I'm in a town hall eight and nine. I kind of just got rid of them because there's too many air defenses, but that is a beautiful raid. Let me see what else we've got here. Um, my boy, the top guy, Alcer, made a pretty good attack that I wanted to show you too. And uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. All right, so he attacked this dude, Alec. And uh, he did a pretty damn good job. So that's a pretty, pretty sick base. I mean, if you're looking at something at, at, at a lower level uh, or maybe a mid-level Town Hall 7 or low-level Town Hall 8, attacking this is pretty, pretty harsh. But he was able to drop a hog in, open up the clan castle, get everybody out. And then what you want to do is drop archers way on the perimeter of the base. You're going to pull everybody out. And this is good. He's got the hogs distracting the shots. And here we go. He's going to break out everybody in the clan castle with a few archers. And that's exactly what you want to do. Don't drop them all in one spot, though. Because if he's got a wizard, they can splash damage most of your guys. So he goes hogging. We're going hogging. Let's drop them all in. That's a, a little different approach. I haven't seen too many people spread the hogs like that. But that worked out here because he was able to take out four defenses really quickly. Get into the middle here and then just absolutely decimate most of the stuff. The guys on the left do take a little bit more damage and uh, aren't as healthy as the ones on the right, and they did still manage to take out most of his defenses. His defenses were decently low level for a Town Hall 8, and the, the Hogs just have enough firepower and enough hit points to uh, just take out all the defenses. And at this point in time, when they've got no defenses, it is an open raid right here. Bring in the archers, take out these Teslas, and they're just going in. So uh, the Giants, uh, sorry, the Hog Riders are super powerful at a low-level Town Hall 8 when you attack them. Um, if you have heal spells and things like that, you can basically crush a defense just because they're easy. They just jump over the walls. There's no reason to bring wall breakers in to, uh, you know, bust through the walls. And we'll speed this bad boy up a little bit. Um, taking out that Town Hall. Hog Riders, they, they got nerfed a little bit in the January, sorry, the June um, upgrade or update by Supercell. The giant bombs now do 150% damage to um, to uh, the sorry the hogs. They take 1.5 times the damage. So um, if you're dealing with a, a higher level town hall eight or a town hall nine who has um, I think it's two giant bombs, maybe three. Two, two in Town Hall 8 and 3, I think, in Town Hall 9. They can kill you. I mean, if you've got a giant bomb in spots that are that are key, you can really, really just crush a whole group of hog riders in one shot, and then you're really stuck if you have nobody to back it up. So those were two really good raids that stuck out in my mind. Um, I wanted to show you one, and I don't want to call this guy out right here, the cookie against butt, all right? Trying everybody get a little bit of a learning experience here. What you got to do is lure out the clan castle. He didn't do that once again. Dropping in a few archers, dropping in a few giants, dropping in that wall breaker. Clump your giants together. Make sure you get them all going in one spot. Let's try to zoom in a little bit here. Um, the giants definitely work better in groups, in my opinion. So we'll speed this up a little bit. Wall breaker gets in, and then here are the dragons. That's a beautiful thing. Although I would have waited on the dragons until you get rid of the air defense because air defenses absolutely crush 
crush anything in the sky, whether it be a giant, whether it be, uh, sorry, whether it be a dragon or whether it be a healer at this point. So he's taken out one already, and he's just keep going in. I think that's a level three, which is very nice at this point. Uh, the healer, unfortunately, does not heal dragons. It will only heal ground troops. So that heal guy right there is absolutely kind of worthless. And the air defense has taken out this dragon. This clan castle came out being wizards. We're able to splash damage the heck out of that dragon. So basically that was three wasted dragons. If he was able to take out this air defense first before dropping the drags or able to lure out that clan castle before dropping the drag, he would have been in much, much better shape. So unfortunately that is the way of the uh, the cookie crumbles in this one. Huh, the cookie crumbles. That was that was on the fly. That was no pun intended. That is the way the cookie crumbles and the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Sorry. That was harsh. But dude, you got to get 50%. You got to get to that town hall and basically all you had to do get in here destroy that air defense and drop your dragons after the clan castle was lured out and you would have probably at least two star if not three star this defense because he doesn't have any other air defenses to take him out and then goblins that, that that's definite that's a carnal sin right there you don't drop goblins in a war <laughs> so pretty decent army setup i could i could two star with this i could probably three star with this definitely so um definitely things to be learned in the future definitely uh, a learning experience for everybody so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of let's play clash of clans i did a lot of work from last episode to now and uh, there's probably going to be another decent change at least the base setup will still be a town hall level four because i'm not going anywhere until i upgrade all these walls and i've got quite a bit of work to do but thank you guys for watching really appreciate it i will be moving guys in and out of this clan depending on wars, depending on donation ratios, depending on how nice people are in the chat. So far, it's been thumbs up. It's been absolutely fantastic. And uh, we're going to have another war tomorrow, and then I'll show you highlights from that. And uh, we'll keep going onwards and upwards. So thanks for watching. Again, really appreciate it. All my hats off to my boys in Weeps Peeps. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And until next time, peace.